lots and lots of lots and lots of holes because because it is difficult but look at the we were looking at that mountain from here and we were here before so one two three and this is like a fourth kind of mountain that we are walking on this trail we rode the whole fucking valley man we rode the whole fucking valley we came from behind this mountain back to my channel guys i hope you're doing good uh today is an extraordinary day this is part 2 yosemite uh and uh we're going to hike the upper yosemite falls which is like the toughest hike in this area so let's see how it goes yosemite falls so this is the like a like a very famous hike which goes to the yosemite falls this falls name is yosemite and there are two types of falls upper yosemite falls and lower yosemite falls so lower yosemite falls trail is very easy very small it's like 0.8 mile or something but the upper yosemite fall is like 3.5 mile and we are going there and we need somewhere on the top so it's going to be a big day it's right now like 1 and the instruction said that at least have like 7 to 8 hours to do the whole trail so hopefully we make it on time make it down before uh, sun set but i think i'm very excited about this adventure this is going to be a legendary experience and uh, let's see i hope you enjoy this experience with me so this is the view after like 5 minutes of why the hike is pretty inclined but they have steps so it's not that bad for now we have completed 2.3 km or 2.13 kilometers and we have been walking since 1 uh, hour and we were we were asking the people who are like climbing downwards uh, how far is it and they are saying like it's pretty far pretty 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 far they said that make sure that you have enough of water we have like four small bottles of water but i remember like there were times where we were like dehydrating ourselves because we didn't have enough water so we are drinking less so that we can save some water so that we can when we reach there we'll drink there for uh, the water there uh, coming down would be very easy i guess but climbing is like very difficult and look at this magnificent view man look at this like like i can just sit here for hours and hours and just like look keep looking at this view but unfortunately i cannot Uh, there are people who are like backpacking here, so they are carrying their tents and they were camping up. So I want to do that. I mean, we've come across this uh, beautiful uh, uh, natural tap. I don't know if it's drinkable or no, but I like wash my face on it. so we are almost like 1 hour away from the spot we we walked for like 2 hours 41 minutes the hike is really very difficult i think it's 1 hour more and we are resting we are taking lots and lots of lots and lots of halts because because it is difficult but look at the view from here so beautiful some people are really scared that why are we, we are the only one who is like going upstairs at this time and they are just like do you have headlamps and stuff so we we have headlamps hopefully we there won't be a need to use them hopefully we will be down by before sunset or before the light is there before dark and let's see how it goes but it's fun look at those rocks so huge rocks So it's right now 4:45, and we started hiking since uh, at like one. So it was a really tough hike, man. This is the toughest hike of my whole life. While coming up, there were people who were saying that the view is totally worth it. They have hyped the view so much that I'm really excited to watch that view. We are like, I think five minutes. There is a guy who walked past by right now, and he said like you're just like five minutes far. So you keep your body fit, and if you push your body, 
your body can do wonders trust me and i'm really glad that my body is helping me to sort that kind of adventure that i always wanted losing time i'm fading fast i just want to make it last try to let go of the past i close my eyes and brace the blast sleepless nights and headaches stack restlessness to hell and back what's my purpose what do i grab a slippery surface a heart attack and sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief there's something that'll have what you need what you need so this is the upper fall and we've been enjoying it for like 30 minutes but we have to re go back it was like people are really hyping it i really like the height of this mountain but to be honest i like the carlon carlos waterfall carlin carlin fall more because it was like because we could swim in there i'm, I'm not sure people swim in this but there is no there are no people so don't, we don't want to risk it but yeah it, it the view is spectacular and uh, we were like just chilling here for like 15 20 minutes and then now i i think we should leave because it took us like 4 hours to get up here and it's right now 6 and the sun set around like 9 8:30 and the the dark the the dark will come around like 9 so we have like 6 hours 3 hours more so we have to hurry up that is why we are just resting here for some time but yeah we got to now go down and see how much time it takes we have headlamps though not for that and this place has little climbing as well so it was fun to climb we're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic But maybe there's magic, believe you could have it And I know of sadness, the anxious in panic The infinite vastness of all that is blackness For this trail, I will say that the journey is more uh, fun than the destination. Where would you get this kind of view? There's this mountain, there's this mountain and there's also a moon. This is Yosemite. So after like 55 minutes of hike, we have this view. That's half dome. We were there at that waterfall. And and we so we we the the trail is going from that mountain to this mountain. So this is the front view of that waterfall. So we are on this mountain now. We we were looking at that mountain from here and we were here before. So one, two, three and this is like a fourth kind of mountain that we are walking on this trail. And see the up down straight away and the trail is all like jungly if that's a word we are almost like 1.5 kilometers uh, uh, away from the end of the trail and it's all dark i can see bats i can see different different kinds of birds and some flies and insects and it's so crazy as you can see look around the whole full dark now we finished that difficult hike from upper yosemite falls and this is like the two days after because yesterday we were like very we were very tired of that hike so we rested for the whole day and today we were spending our whole day at the beach because we want to make it calm like easy and little slow and uh, the thing is like today is the last second last day of our trip and the thing is we don't have a campsite booked 
we only booked till yesterday so today we are like really homeless and tomorrow is my birthday so i'm spending my birthday as homeless so we since we are we were feeling hungry there are restaurants available but we want to cook our own meal so we came to a picnic area where we are cooking lamb lamb kebab we are deciding to like just chill here and sit and wait for the darkness because the view is amazing and tomorrow morning we will try to get up early and start bicycling because you know the vibe of this place is like totally different when it's like when it, when the sun is setting and if you see the clouds there it's orange it's not the sky it's the fire unfortunately there is a fire going on in the usmd national park at some place i don't know if it's a natural fire or a man made fire but yeah but the view is good i guess and people are there chilling there was a deer here is there a deer no but the view is so beautiful and we also saw a bear so yeah the trip was little bit incomplete because we did not see any bear but right now just like 1 hour before we saw a bear and felt good we cannot see the sun but the way the darkness happen here is totally different because you're surrounded by the mountains you feel that the sun has been set but it is not it half an hour more to sunset ashes these are the ashes from the fire that is happening so imagine the fire should might be so massive because the flakes are traveling from this mountains and it's spreading all over the valley how crazy is that but surprising there are some trees i think it's called sequoia trees which grows when they are burned they need to be burned to grow that is so, so crazy to reproduce to reproduce that is so crazy so i think fires are meant to be so that those trees can grow see there is a deer grazing there it's a very funny story that yesterday night we were supposed to sleep uh, anywhere parks uh, park away ke anywhere in the yosemite national forest and just sleep in the car but i don't know suddenly i it kicked me that uh, let's ask uh, someone uh, at the campsite the campsite that are available at the valley that if they have any campsite available and when we asked them when when we asked him and he said that do you have any place to stay tonight and we said no and he's like here's a story we have a jail here and sleeping in the car anywhere in the yosemite national forest is an offense and luckily we asked that person and we came to know about this we didn't know about this so if you are going to come to yosemite national forest it's just in yosemite national forest and uh, plan to camp with the car you can go to jail for that so uh i would not recommend that but the thing is uh one hour, so we found a new campsite which is one hour away from the yosemite national forest so this is another uh, national forest called stanis loss national forest where you can sleep in the car so when we are coming here we are seeing some people who are camping on the road like on the side of the road obviously in their car so yeah that's a good thing but this campsite is called diamond o campsite So if you are in Yosemite camp, uh, Yosemite, and if you are looking for a campsite, this campsite has ample of space. You, I'll, I'm sure, this is like weekend, and we found like seven spots available, which is a first come first serve slot. So if you are stuck in Yosemite and if you don't have any place to stay, come to Diamond O Campground, which is like one hour away from the Yosemite Valley. Not bad. So tonight. So so today we are just gonna do cycle to the rainbow pool that we went in the last vlog. You might have seen where there is a jump and there is a pool where you can swim. So we're going there and on our cycles, which will take around like one and a half hour to two hours. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> So we have 
have reached and it took us around like three hours and we are really tired but it was all worth it how do you feel now i feel great i feel awesome i feel amazing <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we are back here to jump from that place leaving first on the rainbow falls now we have 15 miles to go home to our campsite and it's all mostly uphill and it's going to be brutal keep stay tuned <laughs> so we are going back to our campsite and we are not taking the same route we are taking a different route because we think that this is a shortcut and the thing is uh, we we drank our whole water at the pool because we thought we we're going to take the same route and there was a gas station right like 5 minutes away from that place but since we didn't take any we didn't, we didn't take the same route we don't have any water but there was this ranger who was passing by and she saw us sitting here it is so hard and it is the incline is so steep that it, we are, it's very difficult we are doing like 2 kilometers in like 40 minutes or something so the there was this ranger who was passing by and she was making sure that we are okay we are just taking a rest and we asked him like uh, her do you have water and she gave us a water and god bless that ranger <laughs> and we're gonna now uh, add some electrolyte to it and then uh, drink it that's it it's a tough day this is my birthday this is how i'm celebrating my birthday 27th birthday so it's been like uh four hours and we are still riding and we are almost like 10 kilometers away we we and but we, i am so proud of us but i'm so proud of us that we did 15 kilometers uphill we rode the whole fucking valley man we rode the whole fucking valley we came from behind this mountain we came from and i'm so proud of us we are so tired we are so fucking tired and so exhausted see how now it is <laughs> and look at the valley and the view this is what we rode today on this lodge and slash restaurant so we just jumped here and then we just started eating like crazy and drinking water like crazy and now we are like so full the trip was my god i burned like 4500 kilo uh, 4500 calories and we rode for 50 kilometers which is approximately approximately 30 miles. 30 miles approximately 30 miles so that is crazy and that too while coming up it was like all uphill man like all uphill so i'm so tired it's like now uh, eight we never we never ever ever sleep so early but now we just our body is so tired even after when we came out of the restaurant i'm not able to stand on my legs like i'm able to stand on my legs but every particle of my body is paining and i'll just go to my campground and i'll just sleep the trip is not over yet because the campground from here is like 1.3 miles which is like approximately two kilometers or three kilometers or two kilometers but yeah what a day man what a day i will never forget this day this it's is, your birthday yeah and today is my birthday as well so we cut a small cake as well i forgot today was my birthday so now we are going to the campground which is like 1.2 miles away and the sun is already set i guess but look at the color of the sky looking so beautiful but i still but i cannot enjoy the view because my body is like fucked up so yeah that's it for this yosemite trip it's been like a crazy trip we camped for a week this is the longest time that i've camped ever and it has taught me many things this trip has taught me many things that what i want to do in my life and where I want to be in few years so I'm gonna work towards it and yeah as per my ritual my baby got a new tattoo uh, it says Yosemite National Park it has a bear and everything on it and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my content 
uh, there will be lots and lots of videos going to come up and i'm very excited and happy about my life so yeah be kind to others